Hey guys, welcome to myairbags.com. I'm Eli, and right now we are going to remove the airbag control unit out of this Dodge Challenger. These are the tools you're going to need. I have my power drill with a Phillips head, eight and 10 millimeters, and a T25. I also have a small prying tool for the trim. All right, so the first thing we want to do when we work... <clears throat> All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do when you work with the airbag system is to always distinct the battery from the car. We don't want any power going into the car while we're working with the airbags, the seat belts, or the airbag module. So before I distinct the battery, I want to make sure these powered seats are in the right position before I disconnect the battery. So if you come on in, what we want to do is move the seat either forward or backward, just so you can really see this little area right here. This little cover is where we're going to need to get to. Make sure you move the seats in the right position so you can easily access and remove this cover right here. Then we can go ahead and remove the battery connection from the car. All right, guys, so the battery is in the trunk on this Dodge Challenger. We're going to lift this up, and right here is the battery. Go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter socket, and we're going to go right into the negative here and go ahead and just loosen it up. Then go ahead and twist it right off and place it completely to the side. Same thing here on the positive side 10 millimeter. Loosen it up and then go ahead and remove it and place the cable completely to the side. And then as a precaution, you can go ahead and put this right back on. Next, you want to go ahead and get right in the car and we're going to take out these little covers right here. Take the cover off and right in there, you'll notice there's a little bolt and we're using a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and remove it. And then there's one more on the passenger side as well. Okay, here's what you need to know. When the car gets into an accident, there's three main things that could be causing the light to be on. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seat belts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is they cost up to a few hundred dollars. Plus, you have to pay a dealership technician to go in and program it to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new unit to your car. Here at MyAirbags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag computer, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we clear it of all codes. And because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Seatbelts also deploy and they throw trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your seatbelts along with your module. Our seatbelt tanks are licensed and they hold an ATF certification. This means that after your seatbelts are rebuilt, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. Right after I remove this airbag module, stick around and we'll take a peek at the seatbelts. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. Now let's go ahead and start on the center console trim area right here. We wanna start with this silver trim right here. Basically, we want to lift up this trim panel right here without damaging it. You can damage it, so be very careful. There's a few different ways you can do it. You can use a little tool to get right in there and carefully pop the tabs and clips right up. Or you can actually get right in here, the cup holder area. Right in here is a good place to go ahead and get a firm grip right in here and just pull up just like that. And you'll notice that the clips on the sides here pop right off. And then you can help it along the way with your tool. Once you get to about halfway here, you'll notice that this side is pretty firmly set in. So what we wanna do is go ahead and not force anything, just leave that right there. And actually we're gonna go ahead and start working on this 
trim panel right here. And the way I like to go ahead and lift this up here is a combination of a tool to get right in here and to go ahead and use your fingers from the inside, the bottom side here to push upwards. So you can do two things, push from the bottom up and as well as get your tool in between and kind of just work it up from the bottom and from the side. Be very careful, don't damage anything. This piece can break if you force it too much. So just be very careful. You can work from the bottom here to pull it right up. Once you have this piece loose here, you'll notice down here we have a little plug. And with this plug here, you basically want to go ahead and squeeze on this little tab button on the other side of it. Go ahead and squeeze on that little part there and then pull on the plug at the same time. Basically, this is the part we're squeezing right here and pulling out. Next, go ahead and grab your T25 bit. And we're going to go ahead and put it right on our power drill. And this little bolt right here, you're going to remove using your T25 hex. And then once you have that little piece removed, this shift knob will come right out just like that. Now that we have the shifter out of the way, we can go ahead and continue with the rest of the panel here. And you want to just work it just like the other way. And right back here, we have some plugs. One plug right here. And you're going to want to squeeze on this little part right here. Squeeze and pull. Next, we want to go ahead and work these plugs right out. Right over here, I'm going to squeeze on this little part here and pull apart. And then this one also has to come off. It's actually being held on by some tabs in the back. You can just remove it for now and then put it back once you're done. But for now, we're going to go ahead and press on this little button right down here and then just wiggle it back and forth and pull out. Just like that. We want to go ahead and pull this little plug off the clip for now. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and put it back when we're done installing the module and putting the center console back together. It comes right on, on and off, just like that. And we're actually getting all these plugs away from the center console so we can free up the center console. The only other wire we have running through here is this wire right here. And the only way to free it up is to go ahead and remove these bolts right here. There's one down here and one right over here. Go ahead and grab your eight millimeter socket and we're gonna go ahead and take those right up. Now this piece is actually free. You can actually put it along with the other plugs for now. And the center console is almost free except for these two little screws right here. So using our Phillips head, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this first one here, right over here. So now that we went ahead and removed those two screws, this center console should be able to pull right back towards the back seat. And we're gonna lift it right up. And you can either take it out of the car or you can just place it right towards the back seat for now because all the work for the module is right over here. So the module is right over here. You can see it. It's a black plastic box that's bolted down to the floor with this yellow harness in the front. And it's also being covered by this rubber piece right over here. Now it's really important that we have no power going into the car at this point. Anytime we're working with the airbag module, we want to make sure there's no power going into the car. It's really important that you follow the correct steps or you're risking deploying airbags and seat belts. We do not want that. So the first step is to disconnect the battery, wait a few minutes, make sure the car is powered down. Second step is to go ahead and remove the plug first, the harness here. We're gonna go ahead and press on this little button tab right here, and then that will free up this black lever. Move the lever over, and then the whole harness for the airbag module will come right out. Now with the second plug here, you wanna go ahead and move this red tab forward towards yourself and then go ahead and in here there's a little button you can go ahead and press 
press on that and you'll feel it depress down and then go ahead and move the plug right out. Next, you wanna remove the three bolts that are holding down the module to the floor. And you're going to use a 10 millimeter socket to get right in there. The first one is right up here up front. You can see the first one very clearly right there. And then the other two are gonna be in the back. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and remove that module, but I have another module right here that's just like it. And basically, this is what it will look like. And on this module, you can see the holes very clearly there. That's where the bolts were holding down the module right in place, right in there. Now, if your car was in an accident and someone has told you that you need to replace the module, that there's no way to reuse the original module again, here at My Airbags, we can actually reset your original module, the one that was in the car during the accident. That way, you don't have to buy expensive replacement parts at the dealership. Body shops, collision shops, and automotive professionals all around the U.S. have been using My Airbags for years. They save hundreds of dollars on each part that they send in to MyAirbags.com for service, reset, or rebuild. Along with the module, the seatbelts also deploy and they throw codes. On this Dodge, we have a buckle system here that deploys. This buckle here is the deployable kind. Right down here, you can see this long cylinder shaped tube, as well as this plug here, that yellow and orange plug there. During the accident, this part receives a signal to go ahead and deploy. And then this piece scrunches down like an accordion and locks the person in place. So this is just one part that deploys. And then you have the same thing here on the driver's side as well. You can see that long cylinder shaped tube right there, that silver tube that runs parallel to the seat, as well as that orange and yellow plug right there that receives a signal and sends the signal up to deploy the buckle. Here at MeyerBags.com, we can professionally rebuild these buckles. That way, once you put them back, they will function as designed. So along with the buckles, the seatbelts actually also deploy. So if your seatbelt is deployed and you wanna go ahead and remove it and send it in for a rebuild, the seatbelt is right here behind the pillar here. To get to the pillar, we wanna go ahead and lift up this foot panel first. You can use your hands to go ahead and pop this up or even a little pry bar to go ahead and just pop the clips right up. Once you have this foot panel lifted up, go ahead and grab your Phillips head and then go ahead and remove this little screw right here. And sometimes you may find it easier to work from the top here. And you just basically want to target the clips that hold it in. And you can see there's one clip that came off right there. And there's a few more, just like that clip, that are right down here towards the bottom. Once you pull the cover back, you'll see the seatbelt pretensioner right here. This is the part that deploys, and it'll throw codes, letting you know to go ahead and replace this part. Both driver and passenger sides do deploy. Here at MyAirbags.com, we can do both driver and passenger side. If you want to go ahead and remove this pretensioner and send it into MyAirbags.com, First thing you want to do is, of course, disconnect the battery, make sure there's no power going into the car while we're working on the seat belts, airbags, or airbag module. Next, you want to go ahead and unplug it. Over on this side, this yellow and black plug right here unclips and unplugs. Next, you want to go ahead and remove the bolts. There's one bolt here at the top of the pretensioner, and there's going to be one at the bottom end of this. Then, if you follow the seat belt upwards, Right over here, you can see that it's also being held down right here into the pillar here. You can go ahead and unbolt this piece here. Now towards the end of the seatbelt, we have a bolt right down here that just unscrews. Once you have the seatbelt, once you remove the seatbelt, you can go ahead and put the bolts right back into place. Once you get your seatbelts back from MyAirbags.com, you will have the bolts ready for you for reinstallation. Then you can go ahead and feed the bottom piece right through this piece. That way you won't have to send in the whole panel that you see here, just the seatbelt part that deploys. When you're shipping the seatbelt in, there's no need to send in the whole panel. You just need to send in the seatbelt pretensioner. You can go to myairbags.com, select your year, make and model, and then add the parts to the car that you would like to have serviced. Next, just fill out your information, check out. Once you've successfully paid and checked out, you can print out the confirmation barcode and put it right inside the box with your parts. 
No printer, no problem. You can go ahead and write out your name, address, phone number, and email address. And then just place that information inside the box with your parts. Once we receive the parts here at myairbags.com, we'll process the order, we'll service your parts, we'll ship it out to you within 24 hours. Everything we service comes with a warranty. Hey guys, if you're sitting there with a question in mind, go to myairbags.com and click on help. On there, you can type in a keyword or a question and most likely the right answer will pop up right for you. If it doesn't, we're always here on the phones. You can email us, chat with us, or you can even just text us. We're always here to help you, myairbags.com. Now's the time to give us a big like, subscribe to our channel. We have more videos just like this. Comment, I really enjoy reading your comments. This is Eli with myairbags.com. Save time and money on your next project.